when we were recording it, like near the end, he's like, I can't believe we're getting away with this. <laughs> like, I can't believe you decided to take this massive risk on me and it ended up working. Because we were like, if it doesn't work, then we just got a nice holiday in London. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm Remy Vega and I play in a band called RVG. This new record is called Brainworms. It's our third record. It's, I think it's our best record. But yeah, very, very happy about this record just as sonically, it's kind of everything that I really wanted in a record, but also just kind of fits the whole aesthetic of what the songs are about. Well, we'd done both of our records in Melbourne and I kind of just, you know, thinking a lot during everything that had been happening the last couple of years, I was very much like, definitely want to start fresh. I've always wanted like a bigger sound for this band. I feel like even from like Quality of Mercy, is like Quality of Mercy I kind of associate as like a very low budget, a high fidelity record. I There was definitely like the idea that if we ever had like the, the resources, we'd go overseas and like find somebody and make a big arrogant pop record. And yeah, fortunately we we, we did. And we, we found a producer who we really had not heard anything much of James Travaskas. Yeah, we took a ma massive risk. Ended up, like, I think that kind of drove us to kind of like really focus and do our best work. I'm happy about it. I'm confident about this record to the point of arrogance. When we went overseas, we were kind of like, we had seven fully fleshed out songs and we had three bits of songs, like sort of skeleton, very skeletal songs. Because usually, like the last record, we'd had a lot of things mapped out beforehand. Part of me in the back of my brain was being like, I'm just gonna like not think about the last three songs too much because I would like to be in the studio and do it. Yeah, Nothing Really Changes was very much like, we started playing it in rehearsals. We played it full on with like, just Mark drumming through the whole thing. Even, I had an original demo with a drum machine, but we were like, we don't know how we would do that. So we just did this kind of very simplified version of it. When we got to the studio, we played it and was like, mm, yeah, this isn't kind of working. And then I was like, well, what about this original demo? And James was just like, I think we should just keep the drum machine. And we're like, okay, great. We've never done that before. That sounds like a, that sounds like the perfect vibe. And then, yeah, he was like, what if we built Mark's drums over the top of it? Um, he put Mark in the booth and just kind of like orchestrated the parts he would play kind of thing, the kind of big Phil Collins. Yeah, yeah, the Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah, and he just kind of, it was very much his direction that kind of built up that song. And yeah, it was, it was something that we'd never really thought to do. And one of the reasons why we really wanted to work with someone who would like do strange shit and take us out of our comfort zone. The artwork was done by a friend of mine who lives in New York, uh, Renee. She used to live in Melbourne, used to go to shows at the bank. During one of the lockdowns, when we were finally let out of the first lockdown, I went to the, the cafe down the road. She just had a giant painting of like one of her, her paintings in the cafe and I was just like, it would be really nice if I made another record and something of hers was the cover. Fortunately, when we'd done it, that was my first thought before even writing the songs and contact with her and she was super keen and, and ended up doing not just the cover, but like a bunch of the beautiful Ooh. inlay as well. And the back as well. <laughs> I'm very, very excited with it. We just kind of like, I guess just more and more shows have like tours closer to the end of the year. I don't really know what to expect for the rest of the year. Like it, everything sort of just now the album's out, it's just like, I'm just happy for people to listen to it. Hopefully just keep doing stuff. Like it, there was a big gap of like not doing stuff for a long time. So I've got the energy to kind of work very hard at the moment. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's been, it's been so nice. Some of that content was excellent. <laughs> oh, good. I think we've for a while. Just don't make me sound too bitchy. <laughs>